In this video, I'm going to show you how you create this stretch transition using Adobe Premiere Pro and later in this video, I will show you how you create this same transition using Filmora. So I recently uploaded video where I gave 10 free transition and people are really curious to know how I created these all the transitions. So here is the proper tutorial how we can create the stretch transition. So if you not get this transition pack till now go ahead and check it out link in the description below and also you get the card at the upper right corner or somewhere else. So here we are right inside of Adobe Premiere you can use any version of Adobe Premiere. So here we have uh, two different footage. I got this footage from pixels you can also get the link in the description below if you are interested so the first thing you need to do is to create an adjustment layer we use an adjustment layer because later if you need any changings in your transition you can turn it easily right so I just want to make this transition around 12 frame on each side for counting these frames you just need to hold shift right arrow key and here is the five frame we are moving so we need to move it twice like that here we have a 10 frame per second on the right side and just two frame like that right we just need to make a cut right here by press ctrl k and delete this because we don't need it just go back two frames and hold shift left arrow key and here we are at the mid right now hold shift left arrow key here is the 10 frame and two more frame make a cut by press ctrl k delete this extra layer and here we just go back to our mid right we just need to add a marker right here because we need that marker later so we actually need three different effects to create this stretch transition so the first effect is offset right just drag and drop on your effects control or just directly apply on your adjustment layer the second one is transform here you go just drag and drop and the last one is directional blur now let's start with the offset so here we have a shift center 2 so I'm just need to go back to the very first of my adjustment layer make a keyframe right here and go back at the end of my adjustment layer so I'm just little big move back from my adjustment layer to see how we can do that right so I need to make it align like that you need to increase these horizontal values and make it fit like that but it's not a professional method to do that because as you can see we have uh, some little errors right here so I'm just move back so we also know that our sequence is actually 1920 and 1080p and we have a horizontal value is 1920 right so we just need to add 1920 plus here we have a horizontal value which is actually 960 so we just need to add a 960 with a, your horizontal value of your sequence which is 960 and here you go we have a 2880 value right here so we just need to change it to 2088 zero right so here you go we have a perfect value right here we don't have any error right now so here you go we have a perfect value there you go we have uh, some slide of uh, videos right here so it's just feeling lagging so we need to make it fix so here we I just click on a drop down menu select all of these keyframes and here we just right click and go to temporal and here we got an ease in so go again and just select ease out so here we have this curve so make it uh, steep like that make it this point meet at the very mid of this hour mark like that here we have and here you go we have a slight like slight transition so we just need to go to transform right here and here we just need to work with scale width right so we just need to make a keyframe right here and you can change its width value between 180 to 200 it's actually on your taste but uh, in my case 120 is perfect for me right so we just need to go back at the very 
first of our adjustment layer change this uh, width value to 100 because we want to make a from nothing to 190 right so we just add the end as well and change this value to 100 to make it simplize and here you go but it is a little bit not smooth as well so we need to select all of these keyframes as we done before go to ease in and again ease out and here you go to make it a little bit clear we need to make it bigger like that and here you go now we just need to make it line like we done before and make us a tree here like that it's a perfect way right it's working really great now the next step we are going to do is to add uh, some motional blur or you can say directional blur right so we need to make it at the very mid and add some blur so 50 is really perfect for me you can change according to your requirements so here you can see our blur is just coming from up to down or down to up but if we can change this direction it just change the direction of our blur so the 19 value is really perfect if you make a set rate like right to left so here you go we have our value and now just go to the beginning of your adjustment layer make a keyframe and change this value to zero because we want to make our transition is just moving directional blur from zero to 50 right so here you go our just transition motional blur is coming from 0 to 50 and again the next step and the last step we can do is select all of these keyframes and ease in and ease out and just make it a little bit bigger as we can done before make it set rape as the highest level and make like that here you go we have a perfect and here is our transition is just ready here you go our transition is just ready blur is really good and directional is really good right so if you want to save your time you can select all of these offset transform and directional blur the save preset and now change the name according to whatever you want and make it like one second just go to effects and here you go we have a preset right here just apply on your adjustment layer and you can now apply on your different footage at different points but if you want to download this for free i also mentioned the link in the description below you can check it out Now here we are in Filmora. So Filmora is actually one of the best software I ever seen. They are giving many of the transition title audio effects so you can use it. And if you are really interested to get Filmora on discount, you can check it out the link in the description below. So here we have our two different footage, the same footage that we use in Premiere. So all we have to do is just go to transition and here we got an option of 3D and just open it and it takes some time and here at the bottom we got a box turn transition right here apply on your footage between two of your video open it and just change this duration to around 24 seconds that is actually one second right here you go we have our transition that we can done in premiere within two or four minutes you can done this within a second in filmora here you go and you can see like that that's a beautiful transition you can apply by just one click right you can also explore some other transition using filbora i also mentioned the link in the description if you go with my link you get some discount on filmora buying right so filmora is one of the best software if you are a beginner or you don't have much time to create a transition for yourself for some others you can use filmora and turn your job very fast right so here we have uh, some titles audio stock media effects as well so yeah that's all for today's video i hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about this tutorial please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one